Here we go, Hammerman Stage 1. They're busting out everything. Got warriors, riflemen, and tanks in this one. But it is Stage 1. They have the weakest troops in Stage 1. And we'll see what we can get done. Tanks are right there in position. But as you can see, we've got a shock. And that's exactly what's going to help us take them out. Along with the triplicate of boom cannons. We are taking out those tanks no problem. Heck, even our level one sniper tower in the corner is getting some. No buildings lost. Let's move on to stage two. Stage number two. Same strategy. They go after our level one sniper tower. Why? Why would you do that? They take him out. Poor Gary. But now it's time for our special special strategy to see if it works i love watching the microwave emitters melt away heavy it's pretty fun to watch but as you can see the only the biggest danger in this one is going to be zookas because there's just not a decent strategy uh in hammerman that you could use for a i don't know thousand zookas that they're going to dump out there but as you can see, they've had both waves. We've got this one, another victory. Let's move on to stage number three. Stage number three, heavies and zookas. Here we go. They're using heavy zooka strategy. What will we be able to do? Microwave emitter melting away those heavies. Flamethrowers helping out. Zookas in range. Are we going to be able to take them out? And then we've got more zookas coming in. What are we going to do? But our shock takes them almost completely out. And then we're going to go ahead and just uh, stay right where we're at. Because we can't move. We're in defensive mode, by the way. The Zookas are tearing through. Our microwave emitters are gone. But it looks like we got the job done. We held them back. Move on to stage four. Stage number four. Tanks and riflemen getting dropped. What are we going to be able to do about it? Well, let's see. That shock is really, really helping out. I really like that strategy. But as you can see, microwave emitter taking out those riflemen. And more riflemen being thrown up to the barbecue here. There they go, just melted away, especially where it overlaps in the middle. But we've still got those tanks. Those tanks are still there, and now we've got an army of Zookas coming in. What are we going to be able to do? So luckily the rocket launcher is taking out the Zookas. We've still got three tanks left, which if we don't aim in could be a problem. But we take out those Zookas. There go the tanks. Let's move on to stage five. Here we go, stage five. We've got grenadiers and a scorcher drop in the beginning with a field of warriors just melted away by the microwave emitters. But those grenadiers are just out of range. We get the scorchers and let's watch that thing melt away. It's getting a double hit from that microwave emitter right now. There it goes. But we've still got grenadiers there. Luckily our shock's able to take it out. We've got the same thing coming in with riflemen now. Riflemen melt away, but they're distracting all the other defensive buildings. We've got to get rid of those tanks. Here we go. Riflemen coming in. We've got a microwave emitters still going some of the guys are branching off to the back i did not do any type of defensive setup in the back i literally just moved the buildings back there so it looks like we're gonna put whatever strategy we have back there to use let's see what happens again i just i didn't have any strategy putting this back there i just put all those buildings back there let's see what happens so we've got sniper towers that are helping out taking out those tanks machine man they get in range of the machine guns machine guns taking out those tanks it doesn't look like they're going to be able to pull all this off as a victory but man they made it through that front barrage i can only imagine what will happen now in stages six and seven one rifleman left is he going to finish the job no he's done stage six Stage number six, 
They shock our microwave emitter and boom cannon and flamethrower right off in the beginning. Will it be enough? No, the shock's already up. And then as you can see, we have our shock. We take out all those. Now it is a healer party. Now, what's next? Riflemen! Serve them up to the barbecue, please. There we go. Just melting away with the double microwave emitter strategy. It's right there in the front. We throw some critters down on the back on top of those defensive buildings. No chance for them to survive. More riflemen served up to the barbecue. Just melting away. Not much play-by-play -play on that one. That one's very quick. They're gone. Next. Oh, man. Poor guys. I mean, just just more boats of riflemen. Just, just gone. It is pretty cool seeing the microwave emitter work for a while, though. There's a lot of animation in there that you don't realize most of the time because it melts through troops so quickly. But there we go. That's stage six. Move on to the final stage. Final stage, stage number seven. So far, we haven't had to readjust our strategy. We've won every one, but here we are, stage seven. Let's see what we can accomplish. And we've got Warriors and that Scorcher. Man, they have a expertly placed shock on that one. That was a perfectly placed shock. For an AI, that was... I'm pretty sure maybe Rick is watching this. He was, he was defending that's what he was doing. He was defending that one. But we got one microwave emitter left, and now we've got a wave of riflemen coming in. Oh, it looks like we got two. Sorry about that. And they're just serving up the riflemen to the barbecue. Oh, now we've got riflemen and heavies. Zoom in just a little bit to enjoy the heavy melting action. Are they going to be able to take out that microwave emitter? Does not look like it. There we go. Another victory. Hey, folks. We didn't have to readjust at all. Seven defenses, seven victories. That's pretty nice. I like it. Hope you did, too. Catch you in the next video.